And I would definitely say it's one of the most popular bags. Hey you guys, it's Sarah. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. Over like the last couple years or so, you guys know we've been traveling a lot or I've been traveling a mix of with Trevor or without and I've definitely racked up a lot of travel stuff but in particular i always seem to come back to ordering travel bags from base if you guys watched pretty little liars or if you're like me and you're obsessed with the show dollhouse on hulu then you are definitely very familiar with shay mitchell besides being an actress she also started the brand base travel a few years ago and it's definitely a very trendy but functional travel line they have a bunch of different types of travel bags luggages cosmetics cases toiletry cases i think they also sell like wallets passport holders and also just like everyday work totes and then i think that there's like also like a diaper bag or a mom bag whatever those are called i don't know i don't have children but i love ordering stuff from her line everything like i said is really trendy and stylish super cute so when you're on the go whether you're traveling or you're working or you're like a mom on the go you can still look chic and put together while carrying a bag that is super super functional so i've definitely racked up a small collection of base bags and since the world is going back to traveling i thought that now would be a great time to do a little comparison of all of my base bags i'm gonna run through each one give you guys a mini review on what i think about the bags whether or not it's worth it and what I recommend each bag for. So I'm gonna start out with my very first bag. Since it was my first one, I did like a full review and dedicated unboxing on this bag. If you guys wanna check it out, it is an older video, but I'll go ahead and link it here because it's definitely one of my most watched videos. But the first bag I ever got from base was the classic weekender bag. I got it in black. This is like one of the first bags that she came out with and I would definitely say it's one of the most popular bags that she sells. A lot of her collection is obviously available through the base website and also through Revolve and Revolve always has this bag stock because I think it's just in such high demand. It is like the most perfect functional accessory travel bag like if you're just going away for a weekend like the name suggests this is the perfect bag for it or if you need a bag in addition to your carry-on that can carry a lot of stuff but would still be allowed on the plane as a personal item that you can fit underneath the seat in front of you this bag is literally as perfect as it gets it fits in so so much stuff like whenever i bring this on a trip i can actually pack all of my clothing and my shoes and then sometimes like also toiletries and makeup it just kind of depends on how many days i'm packing for but usually the majority of my stuff fits in here then i can like pack extras or heavy stuff like in my carry-on or my checked bag my one gripe with this bag is that it is kind of heavy on its own so once you start putting stuff in it it's really really heavy so if you're traveling with this and you do not have like a rolling carry-on just know you will probably get tired of carrying this in the air after a little while unfortunately the straps I would say are not the most comfortable so this is the crossbody strap and it just it doesn't have any padding or anything to help make that extra weight feel more comfortable when you're carrying it it is nice though that it is adjustable so you can carry it on your shoulder if you want or you can carry it crossbody but you could also use these leather straps the only issue that I have with these though is that these are super super uncomfortable once you start getting like I would say over 10 pounds they're just like kind of hard and because because they are on the thinner side it just kind of like digs into your shoulder when you have a lot of weight in here so by that means I would say if I'm going to be traveling but I'm not gonna bring like a rolling carry-on I personally wouldn't go with this bag just because of that but overall function wise it is amazing so it has a doctor bag opening which a lot of her bags do have which is so nice when you're packing because it just sits open like this you have a laptop compartment in here and then a zipper pouch on the side sorry I have stuff in here still and then my favorite feature of this bag and what makes it so, so functional for traveling and stuff is the shoe compartment on the bottom. This saves me so much space. I can fit, I think at least like three boots in here. And then if I'm not packing boots and I'm packing more like sandals and wedges and stuff, I can fit in like four to five pairs of shoes in here. So it fits a lot of stuff and it's very convenient that it has this because shoes can take up so much room. So having this dedicated compartment to your shoes definitely saves you a lot of space like in your carry-on or up top here. The other feature that I really love about this, especially if you're traveling with a rolling carry-on, is that it does have a trolley carry. So your luggage handle would go through this so that this can just sit on the top of your luggage. And it's so much nicer to use this trolley carry because I've definitely had problems where I've been in a rush and I just threw these handles over my luggage handle and the weight distribution on it always makes my luggage fall forward so highly highly recommend the trolley carry if you're going to be using it on your luggage but overall I love this bag I would give it like a 9 out of 10 I just take that point away because it is so uncomfortable to carry I would say though that this is definitely my most go-to bag it's 
technically my most used bag. There is one bag that I use as my gym bag. So since I go to the gym daily, technically that's my most used bag. But truthfully, I would say this would be like my number one recommendation. If you want to get anything from base, I would start with a weekender bag because it's just so functional. I use it for literally everything. When I shoot Instagram content on the weekend and I'm changing a lot of outfits, this is usually what I bring because then I can just use shoes and outfits and it's very, very easy and all just rolled into one bag. Now, if you are traveling without a rolling carry-on or even if you are, honestly, I feel like this bag may start topping off the weekender bag for me when it comes to air travel just because this is so much lighter so if i have to carry it through the airport it's a lot easier but i recently got the base sport duffel this is more meant to be a gym bag but i don't use it as a gym bag i recently got this for my trip to cabo and i have to say i am so glad that i got this this was such a lifesaver i was actually able to fit all of my outfits all of my clothing into this bag which is really nice because on the way there we flew JetBlue and i couldn't bring a carry-on so i was only able to carry one bag with me throughout the airport and the fact that i was able to fit pretty much anything that was essential to the trip in here was so convenient because i was terrified of my carry-on getting lost because i had to check it but this bag is definitely a much sportier design as you guys can see i mean it is the sport duffel so it has a pouch in the front and then another pouch on the side this is technically meant to like carry like your water bottle and stuff like that but if you're using it for travel obviously you can use it for other functions the straps up top i would say are much more comfortable than the weekender bag there's just like a little bit more padding and then especially with like this part that connects them it just makes it a lot softer on your shoulders just like the weekender bag it does have a trolley carry which is nice if you want to put it on top of your luggage and what i love in particular about this bag is there's like a million different ways to carry this besides just the handles you could also do the crossbody and what's nice about this is that this one is padded so it's going to be a lot more comfortable on you as far as like weight distribution goes and everything or if your bag is extra heavy like mine was in Cabo you can actually convert this into a backpack I loved this feature my bag was so so heavy that once I got through security I pulled out the backpack feature and I was using it exclusively because I needed to distribute the weight evenly across both shoulders so this alone makes this like one of my favorite bags for sure it also has a handle on the side and then inside it's super spacious you guys can see it I, it can actually expand pretty well especially since it is a softer bag you can kind of like push it to its max and then it has a bunch of different pockets in here it has two pockets on one side and then on the other side it has a zipper pocket with two more mesh zipper pockets on the front of it what's nice too is it also has a little lanyard in case you like have your keys in here and you don't want to lose them and then if you're carrying like any cash or something it does have like a small pocket to the side for anything really tiny that you don't want to get lost but overall this bag i would definitely give an 8.5 the weekender definitely fits a lot more stuff i feel like this is better as a travel bag just because personally i can't see needing to have a bag this big for the gym i mean i guess if you're doing like organized sports or something and you have a lot of equipment this would be a really good one but i think it's a little bit big for a gym bag but travel wise i think the weekender outdoes it just by a little bit because it can fit more especially with that shoe compartment and also the one thing that i would really love in this is a laptop pocket but again this is a sport devil so it doesn't need to have it but since i use this for travel i would prefer it but it does get a lot of big points for me for being able to be turned into a backpack okay the next bag i used as my beach bag for a little while so please ignore the fact that it is super dirty but i also have the convertible tote slash backpack from base this one is black in the crocodile finish i went a little bit upgraded and got the crocodile so i have like mixed feelings on this bag i think in general like it's a great bag if you need to fit a lot of stuff and you want a backpack option but you don't quite need the size of the duffel bag i think that this one is a really really good one i like the fact that you can use it as a tote or you could use it as a shoulder bag or like I said, you can turn it into a backpack. This one, like the other two, does have a trolley carry. It also has an extra pocket on the back and then a huge pocket on the front. So if you like need a personal bag, not quite as big as the other ones, this one could be a really, really good one. I think that's actually what I purchased it for at first before I started using it as my beach bag. It's super, super deep inside. Like you guys can barely even see down to the bottom and it has a bunch of pockets in here. It also has a laptop pocket. So this would actually also too, now that I'm thinking about it, be a really great work bag. And then lastly, it does also have the lanyard in case you have your keys in here and you don't want to lose them. So this bag, the reason why I say I'm like torn on it is because as a tote like this, it is pretty cute. It would be, like I said, a really, really great work tote. But the function of this when it's a backpack is that it's supposed to like be able to fold over and then it's magnetized so that it's supposed to stay. But 
the second you start putting stuff in this bag, it will not fold over and stay. I have tried to pack lightly in this and even then the magnets just either aren't strong enough or just the structure of it isn't built correctly to make it stay closed when there's anything in here. So it kind of loses that functionality as a backpack once you do put like more than three things in here. So that's a really disappointing part about this bag. And that's why I would say I'd only give this one like a six out of 10. It is very functional. I do like how compact it is. And again, for work, I think it's perfect, but I think that there are definitely better options for pretty much everything in the base family. All right, then like I said, I do use one base bag as my gym bag pretty much daily because I go to the gym a lot. So this one is full. I don't want to unpack all of it. I'm sorry, but this is definitely hands down my most used bag, not because it's my favorite, but because it's my gym bag, but I do have to say, I really, really like it. And it's another convertible bag. That's the thing with base. Everything basically is convertible with them. This is their convertible. I think it's like sport tote backpack or something like that. So as you guys can see, it has the straps here so you can use it as a tote if you want. If I have, like, have to run errands after the gym, I'll typically use it like this. But for the most part at the gym, I will use it as a backpack just because it's easier to just sling it over my shoulder and move from machine to machine. I really, really love this bag as a gym bag. If you need a gym bag and you wanna get one from base, between this and the sport duffel for the gym in particular, this is hands down the bag that I recommend. It has a pocket on each side that you can throw your water bottle into. I tend to throw my sunglasses and keys in here because you guys know I carry a gallon water bottle, so it's not gonna fit in here. And it has a drawstring top, which makes it so easy to just like get in and out of this bag really, really fast. It's a really deep bag. Right now I have it packed to the brim, but I have so much stuff in here. I have Muay Thai gloves, hand wraps, lifting grips, cable attachments, barbell clips, my headphones. I have like an extra t-shirt in here in case I need to like run to the grocery store after the gym and I'm just in a sports bra. It also has two pockets on the side here. So again, you can put like anything that you don't wanna lose that's small. And then a big zipper pocket in the back, which is where I put things like face wipes and stuff like that, that I might need from time to time. But overall, this has been like, the perfect gym bag for me. It's like everything that I want in a gym bag. And I'm so, so glad that I got it. I honestly can't imagine going back to any other gym bag. So if you guys need a gym bag or you like want a bag for hiking, this would also be definitely great for that. It's super, super crazy lightweight. And I know that this is dirty, but it's really easy to clean because you can just like throw it in the washer if you need to. But yeah, overall, I would give this one a nine out of 10. It's definitely, like I said, hands down my most used bag. Okay, then saving the best for last. This is a recent base purchase. It's different than the other bags. It's not like an actual full on purse tote travel bag. It's a toiletry bag, but I got this for my makeup and usually my makeup takes up a big train case plus an extra bag for my palettes and my brushes. And then sometimes like a third bag, I just, I pack a lot of makeup <laughs> and for Cabo, just cause I knew I was limited on space since I was trying to consolidate everything down to just my carry on and a personal bag. I needed a bag that was gonna be able to consolidate all of my makeup without me having to sacrifice too much of it. So I came across their DOP kit and instantly I knew that this was gonna be the perfect solution for me. It is technically marketed as a toiletry bag, but like I said, I use it as a makeup bag and this has been so perfect. If you are someone who travels with a lot of makeup and it usually takes up a ton of room in your bag, you need to get this. Or if you have a ton of toiletries and you're trying to find a more compact way to pack it, this bag is honestly the MVP. It is my favorite base purchase, hands down. I would call this kind of like a mini weekender, but like just for your toiletries and or makeup. Actually on the way there, I fit in half my toiletries and all of my makeup in here. So just to give you guys an idea of how much you can actually put in here. But just like the weekender bag, it has a doctor bag opening, which is great for as you're packing so that you can see everything you're packing. Or if you're using this to do your makeup, you can just have it sit open and have access to all of your makeup in here. It is dirty because I had a ton of makeup in here and I bought the beige one, but you know, I was more concerned with aesthetics over functionality on the color. On the side here, it has this like clear pouch that has a zipper on top. It says toothbrush on there. So if you're packing toiletries in here, that's probably where you should put like your toothbrush and stuff. But for me, I just threw in small things that I didn't want to lose, like my eyeliner, my brow gel, my lip liners, stuff like that. And then on the other side, it has like an open pocket. So I just put like a few eyeshadow brushes in there, but this has so much space inside. You really don't understand how much this can fit until you start packing it. Like I put all my makeup in there and I was like, oh my God, I have so much more room to put so many other things. But then even with as much room as it has on the top, on the bottom, it has like a mini shoe compartment. It's not really a shoe compartment, but it's like a mini version of the shoe compartment. And this can fit 
so much stuff as well. As far as makeup goes, I put like all my face brushes in here and then I put all my eyeshadow brushes, my powders, highlighters, anything that was just like kind of flat, I stacked in here and again, this can fit so much stuff, it's insane. And that also has a little handle on the side in case you like want to carry it or just like attach it to something. But overall, this one I give like a 12 out of 10. It is perfect. I love it so much. If you pack a lot of makeup and or skincare, you need this. Order this. It is worth every penny. All right, you guys, well, that is gonna be it for this comparison of all of my base bags and reviewing my entire base collection. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, especially if you are planning on purchasing some things from base. I hope that this was helpful for you, but if you have any other questions on any of the other bags or comparisons, please feel free to leave a comment down below and I will do my best to answer you. Also too, please don't forget to like this video. And if you are new here, I would love it if you would subscribe and join my little YouTube family. But I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you very soon again in my next video. Bye.